So I will, I will say I'm, uh, I, you know how, like, how do you gift the person that has everything a gift? Like, I feel like, how am I going to interview the person that has all the content available? So I'm super nervous. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be, we'll do great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, well, thanks. Thanks so much. I'm super honored. Um, I was scouring, uh, researching uh, about you. I, um, when, when I Google searched your name on, you know, whether it's a Google search or YouTube, there, there were probably at least 100, you know, rows dedicated to different forms of content that you have. Um, and clearly like the most, uh, I'd say quoted and, and, and content heavy uh, venture capitalists I've seen. So I'm going to try to sure. keep, uh, you know, this un interview pretty unique and not so duplicative to uh, what your content has been. So, but with that said, um, you know, maybe, maybe in your own words, uh, I'd love to just kind of, uh, you talk about your, your early days, uh, where you grew up, your formative years, um, and things like that. Yeah. Got it. Well, anyone who might follow me on Twitter, if you are, well, if you follow me anywhere, if you're in the US, you probably note that I talk a lot about the Philadelphia Eagles over time. So that should give away where I was born in Philadelphia, uh, in Pennsylvania. If you live internationally, you're probably always wondering who the Philadelphia Eagles are and why I talk about them. Um, but I actually moved to California when I was three. I grew up in Northern California. I grew up in what I affectionately call the Midwest of California which is Sacramento. Uh, it's not near a coast. It happens to be the capital. Uh, and it was a small town where I grew up. And, you know, my mother was an entrepreneur and a philanthropist. Um, my father was a doctor and uh, uh, also a marathon runner. And with my mom, you know, she bought computers to help her with her business, but she never knew what to do with them. Um, so as an early teenager, 13, 14, 15, in an era where people didn't really have computers that much in the early 1980s, um, I got interested in computer programming. So I started my career uh, as a computer programmer. I studied economics in college. The, the programming courses uh, at my undergrad were really boring. So I bonked out of... Um, computer science and went economics. But my first job was as a computer programmer. And I went from there to being a database designer, a database administrator. Uh, I did system planning, system programming. Um, and we didn't build package software. There weren't a lot of package software companies back then. We built custom software for large corporations. Um, and from there, I got an MBA. Uh, I decided to go into strategy consulting where I spent time with senior people at big corporations trying to make compl complex decisions. Um, and this was at the birth of the internet. So we're really talking 94, 95, 96. So I spent a lot of time with telcos, with governments, um, with equipment manufacturers trying to figure out what offerings on the internet would look like. Uh, I got to travel and live around the world. I lived and worked in uh, abroad for 11 years. Uh, most of that time I was living in Europe, in France, Italy, Spain, the UK. Uh, I did get to spend time in India. Um, we set up the captive development center in Pune or Pune, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, and that was a great experience for me. I must tell you back in 2003, 2004, my wife and I actually considered moving there, or let's say I wanted to move there and I tried to lobby my wife and we at least had a conversation about it. Uh, but I saw it as, you know, I was projecting forward what I thought the next 10 to 15 years in the world would look like. And I thought it would be a tremendous life and growth opportunity. Um, I also lived a bit in Asia. I got to live in Japan, which was a great experience for me. But in uh, 2005, I decided to move back to the United States and uh, I lived in Northern California first, uh, built and sold a startup to salesforce.com and I've been in Los Angeles since 2007. And I'll stop talking there to make sure you can ask some questions. But uh, you know, I two-time entrepreneur built 
both companies from scratch, sold both of them. And I've been a venture capitalist since 2007.